My name is David Montesano, and we're going to be discussing improving your transfer admission outlook, getting off the wait list today. Um, how does admission work in general? Here's kind of a competitive dynamic that I like to show people. So basically on one end you have your dream school and in this case it's you're you know you're looking at uh, basically getting into uh, a, a college um, through the admission uh, the transfer admission process right so you're waiting for somebody to leave essentially before you can take their spot. Now um, colleges are going to have other applicants, obviously. So in that applicant pool, as we call it, they're going to have applicants with strengths and weaknesses. And then you, on the other hand, are on the left here. You know, who you are as a person, your values, your core operating principles as a person, and also, you know, obviously the things that you need kind of functionally, like your educational, social needs, all that stuff. But more importantly, it's important really or critical to figure out what your points of difference are. Points of difference really are a way of saying what makes you unique, academically first, and then leadership second, and then everything else after that, okay? So it, here's where it gets a little weird because I know people, there's probably a lot of people that say, well, I'm great at sports, you know? Hey, I was too, but and that, that can be very helpful for you. But it's only gonna work in this case if the, uh, the, that's part of what your college is really needing and if you're being recru recru recruited as part of a um, you know a recruitment a formal recruitment process with a coach right so and you, there's no way to know that except putting together uh, a resume and, and maybe a video and, and sending it off to the coach and seeing if there's an interest um, but that can you know so sports can help you but I am I, I, I traditionally recommend not emphasizing that as much to the directly the admission office the things that you want to emphasize uh, directly to the admission office are academic talents. So things like music, music's academic, um, writing, writing's academic, you know, anything you've done um, in the arts can be academic. Um, math, science, all that stuff. Athletics is great, but I would, unless it's like Olympic level, I probably, you certainly should mention it in the admission but I would de-emphasize it compared to stuff that you might have done in calculus, okay? Because that's just going to be more relevant because um, these schools are in the, in the business of, um, you know, they're, they're really about education. So anything that's academic is going to come first. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're not recruited behind the scenes, that won't help you. It absolutely will. I'm just letting you know that you want to emphasize. You want to put the academic foot forward first. Um, and I know a lot of people tend to talk about sports and leadership uh, rather than maybe say like informally tutoring somebody. So I wouldn't want you to miss an opportunity there. Um, here's another question. We'll just take a minute here. How likely is it to transfer from community college? Oh wait, that was, I think that was the question we just looked at. Sorry. Um, here's the next one. Um, it says most universities that I've been looking at require the SATs, but would not necessarily the ACTs, would you recommend still taking them? Well, okay, that's a great question. So this is really um, interesting. So most colleges, just to let you know, take the SAT or the ACT uh, equally. So if you have an ACT instead, that's so here's a kind of rule of thumb. If your SATs aren't at or above the mean scores of, of you know, say like the incoming freshman, you can just look at their numbers then I would probably recommend giving them your ACT instead if you're required to submit a score and you don't have time to retake it. Because um, you, you know, even all things being equal, if your ACT is a little lower and you're on one of the coasts, if you're on the West Coast or East Coast, it's probably better to submit an ACT score because the West Coast and East Coast schools aren't judged as much by their ACT scores or judged by their SAT scores. Midwest schools are judged by their ACT averages. So that would be the opposite there in a sense. If Why don't you look at U.S. News and we'll report and see what which score range the school you're talking about, the college you're talking about is reporting out on, on the, the ranking page, not their, their, you know, their kind of profile page. Okay, and that can give you a clue as to which one of those you should submit. All right, so this kind of gives you an idea. You want your points of difference. What's special about you? Say if it, my, my point of difference, you know, just I, I happen to be really good at math and that's it. I'm not good, you know, and I don't have any extracurriculars that are really significant, but I do tutor my fellow friends in calculus all the time. You know, they're, they're jealous of my ability. Well, then absolutely you want to emphasize that. You want to position that. Um, and position that effectively and showcase that and really describe that as part of not only your um, maybe your academic awards and honors can you can list your you know like top you know like a you got you got a, you know maybe an A on a special exam or 
you know, topic within calculus. And then in your extracurriculars, you should definitely talk up the informal work that you do as a tutor, and that can make a big difference. So look like it. Any other questions? I'll give I'll give somebody one more chance here if there are any others. Um, kind of last minute ones. It doesn't look like you've been a great audience, and I wanted to say thank you so much for your time. And um, best of luck to you is in transfer. I know you can you can get off that wait list. So just focus on some of the principles we talked about today, and you'll be very successful. I think. All right. Take care. Thanks.